Hi and welcome to another video. Today's video is how to change the optical drive belt on an original Xbox. If you've got a DVD drive that either sounds like it's trying to open but nothing happens or perhaps it's getting stuck on the way out, this is usually a problem with the drive belt. They get stretched, they get worn over time, but it's a very easy fix and I'm going to show you how. So the first thing we need to do is uh, make sure that the drive door is open. So press the eject button, get the drive door to open, and then pull the power plug on the back of the Xbox. This will make sure that the, the door stays open and doesn't close by itself. So the next thing to do is flip the machine over, and underneath there will be a set of screws to take out. Two of those screws will be hidden underneath some stickers, uh, if you haven't already opened the machine. There are four more screws underneath the rubber feet, so you need to take them off. They can be a bit tricky, but just peel them off and then undo the four screws. Uh, all six screws are quite long, about three inches long. So now you can take the lid off. It's quite easy, it just pulls straight up. It's got some grooves that it's held into, but just slide the whole thing straight up. So now you've got the lid off, you've got the DVD drive on the left and the hard drive on the right and there are three screws to remove so we can take these two drives out. On the very middle of the machine is a, it's a gold screw on mine. Take this one out, this will allow you to remove the hard drive and then you've got two further screws which are either side at the front of the DVD drive. Uh, they're quite far down so you'll need to use a long screwdriver to get them and take them two out. Before you remove the hard drive, uh, you need to unwind the power cable. It's in the groove at the right hand side of the hard drive. Just take it out of its groove and take it out of the clip at the bottom. It just makes it easier to manoeuvre the drive. Now you can move the hard drive out of the way. There's no need to remove it completely, you can just sort of sit it to the side slightly. Now you need to turn the Xbox around so you've got the back of the machine facing you and look at the back of the DVD drive. On there you've got a power cable and an IDE cable. And simply pull these two cables out, the IDE cable and the power cable, and then your drive is free, you can lift it out of the machine. With the drive now free from the machine, you can just unclip it from its plastic cage. Now flip the drive over and you'll see four screws. This is on the Toshiba Samsung drives, but the Xbox did use a couple of different models of DVD drive and some of the screws are on the top. So whether they're on the top or on the bottom, just take those four screws out. Once the screws are out, you can just lift off the top metal casing and you'll see the drive innards. The next step is to just push the drive tray slightly back in on itself to reveal the drive wheels and where the drive belt is attached. And then just unhook the old belt from the wheels and take the belt off. And here you can see a picture of two belts. Uh, the old one is on the left, the new one is on the right. And you can see quite a big difference. The new one is a lot smaller, meaning the old one is stretched and that's where the problem lies. And then take your new belt and just put it around the big wheel and the small wheel and you'll notice that it's a lot tighter than the old one was. And that is the repair done. So now all you need to do is just put the machine back together in reverse order. One thing I do like to note is that the power cable for the DVD drive, just make sure it sits above the IDE cable. Otherwise it has a tendency to sort of hang down and it might catch on the motherboard. And that is it. Once it's all back together, you can go and test out your handiwork. And here you can see my drive, uh, it's absolutely working beautifully. It's smooth, it goes in and out without any issues at all. There's no sticking, there's no need to uh, bang on the top of the drive. So I'm very pleased, it's an excellent job done. I hope this helped you so you can fix your DVD drive uh, and have a, a lovely fully working Xbox. Enjoy.